Let's see the new scatter modifier in Blender 5.0. I'm using the beta version. Let's say that I want to add vegetation to this surface. First of all, I need to import the assets. I'm using Asset Browser. If you use it, make sure to use append in import method. The asset pack is available on my Gumroad store. There's a free version, but you can use the models you want. Let's start. I'm going to select the surface, head over modifiers, and look for scatter on surface. All I have to do is to add the object I want to scatter. We can change the density method to amount. We can adjust the amount of instances. But I want to use density, so I can change to Poisson disk. Then I can modify the minimum distance between objects. Let's open transform and we can change the scale. Of course, we need to randomize it and randomize the rotation, but I only need to randomize on the C axis. Also randomize the scale. Now let's see masking. This is for scatter paint. We need to create a texture, choose the name and resolution. Now go into texture paint. In texture slots, select single image and select the image we just created. Painting with white color will add the objects and black will remove them. I want to change the brush for a softer brush. If we need to add more objects, we can add a new modifier or duplicate it. Now select the new object or use a collection. So let me import the new objects. Select them now by pressing M, send them to a new or existing collection. Now here I can add the collection. I have to check big instance, otherwise the objects in the collection will be in the same place, but you can play around with it. This is a very useful modifier, especially if you don't want to use geometry nodes or add-ons or particle system. It's easier to use a modifier. If you want to convert it to mesh, Make sure to apply the modifiers from top to bottom, but first we have to activate Realize Instances, then we can apply it. Thank you for watching, see you next time.